have other problems you're asking us for our vote, we need an anti-black crime bill. We have just witnessed in Jacksonville a white supremacist uh, shoot down three people for the sake just simply because they were black. Subsequent to that, there was another thwarted attempt at a church, right, that was thankfully thwarted where they wanted to kill black people in a church. There was, this is literally our life in our world. Within the past 30 days, then up in the Cape, up in at Massachusetts, we got young white supremacists sitting up there trying to drown a teenage black boy in a pond and yelling George Floyd. So we have a real problem. The DNC needs to give us an anti-black criminal bill. It's, it's extremely serious. Let's, let's reel it back. Let's take it back to Buffalo. All oh, everybody's yeah. being shot in Buffalo. No, hold on. In, in, in Buffalo, we died. We died in Buffalo, but we got an anti-Semitism bill. What is the DNC doing about anti-blackness in this country? What are you talking about? No, I just laid it down. What are we doing? We need to do something about lineage-based reparations. And we need to do something about anti-black crime. You are the DNC. You have the power of the DNC. We don't see it. Joe Biden said that he had our back. But what we're seeing is that he's stabbing us in the back. Thank you. Respectfully. Respectfully disagree with you. Too. I respect you. Well, you need respectfully to respectfully go to the drawing board. Look at the current events. Look at what's going down in the national media. We're getting killed. Well, I, and, 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 I, and, and listen, man, They're drowning. I know that. The cake two weeks ago. I know that. You want to drown a teenager? And a white supremacist, a young one too, they're being breathed. You want to get them drowned for drowned for and everybody, I, 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 everybody's I, 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 trying to act like anti-blackness doesn't exist. I, and on top of that, right here on this university, I, the Freedmen Center, we're talking, we're talking about the Freedmen. We're talking about the descendants of U.S. chattel slavery known as Freedmen and the Negro. When is the DNC going to do something for the Negro? We need our but only offer, um, only talk to black people about voting. And that's what you're doing up in here today. Pandering for vote to all of these students up in here. You're sitting on your hands, literally, and then you're gonna be disrespectful and walk off the stage. But you want our vote. Sir, we've been voting for 60 fucking years, and we haven't gotten a damn thing from, from you, Elgin, or Joe Biden, or Kamala We haven't gotten anything. Sir, what? No. Because I'm mad as hell, sir. 60 years we've been voting. What have we got other than being at the bottom class? And this clown here is going to sit up here and give us this bastard preacher antic show. And we find and see, but I hope you're not buying into that bullshit. I really hope you're not buying into it. Because that is fucking disgusting and disrespectful. To come up here and charge you guys for coming in here to see this shit, this shit show. And then not only that, you guys being charged again on the tuition. Do you know that? I'm pretty sure you don't. So with that being said, with that being said, I seriously hope that you guys don't go to the poll and vote for no more of these fuckers that sit in office and doing a damn thing for us. But these legals getting $7,000 in DHS. Did you know that? They getting $7,000 a month. Food stamps, vouchers, e-bikes, scooters. They taking jobs away from us. Y'all sitting in here in college paying all this high ass tuition and probably won't even be able to get a damn job when you graduate. Because guess what else? They haven't told y'all. The, the, the certification attached to your degree. You're gonna need certification to go with those degrees. And if you haven't checked into that, before you start in school, when you go for a job, they gonna tell you that shit when it's over. So now I said my piece, I came to state my point and, and, and state my piece and I've done that. I've done that. No, please not you. Please not you. I am really proud of these two women for standing up to these bullies. Far too long for the past six decades, the Democrats have done absolutely nothing for Blacks. They use symbolism. They only come around and ask for our votes when it's time to vote. But they still do nothing for us. 
Meanwhile, they continue to do things for other communities, for other groups, in the form of money, policies, bills, you name it, they get it. We get nothing. More of us need to stand up and speak out 